Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sarchi and I am here with a long awaited announcement of the newly added syllabus course that has been a popular demand of the lot of students who couldn't take the complete uh, JE Advanced 2023 crash course due to their prior commitments and their interests, but they were uh, continuously uh, commenting on the YouTube channel and also DMing me in the app and sending lots of emails in the last one and a half to two months about launching a newly added syllabus that has been done to JE Advanced 2023. Um, I, they wanted a separate portion of the syllabus to be covered in a comprehensive manner as if it's being done for the first time in most of the institutes and in some cases, unfortunately, they are not covered at the JE Advanced level uh, for this year aspirants. So uh, as you could see from the idea of the thumbnail, right, most of the coaching materials that you would have on this uh, chapters, which I'll reveal, uh, are either uh, not sufficient enough to counter the JE advanced level, or at the same time, some of the coaching materials that you find on internet um, are too complicated for the JE advanced syllabus of EM waves and uh, other chapters. Okay, so too complicated in a sense that uh, solving a JE advanced level problem requires certain amount of smartness that you could not find in such material. So there's a lot of confusion among the students regards to how much is enough and whatever they are having is it enough so that's the idea so we are going to go through this course with an actual requirement the smartness to ensure that we go ahead of this mad rush in the last two or three months of preparation for your je advanced 2023 that's the whole idea of launching this particular course okay so let's look at the added syllabus in 2023 je advanced for the first time some of the topics have been added okay so there is you could say uh, no prior uh, example that you can find from the previous year questions or to what level JE Advance is going to go in this particular chapters. But with some common sense, you can always try to put a full stop on what's the boundary of that syllabus, right? So there are too many things at research level that are not required in these topics. But at the same time, you cannot say uh, the previous JE mains questions would be the level at which JE Advance will be asked, right? So there is a nice balance uh, that you need to understand is required to prepare for these four approximate topics. You could say entropy and second law of thermodynamics. Damped and forced oscillations as a part of, ex of extension for uh, SHM and phasers. And then EM waves and polarization as a uh, important topic, you could say, and the diffraction of light. So these uh, topics, you need to have an idea of to what level you should be able to study. And that comes with uh, you could say experience of a, a good teacher to guide the students. And that is what I am intending to do in this particular course. Okay, so with these topics available, right, uh, you need to go to the Physics Sergi uh, Android mobile app. Okay, app and web access for this particular app is in the pinned comment below. You can directly go there. Even uh, different batches for the uh, crash courses will be available there and uh, this newly added syllabus course also will be available once you go into the app you need to search for this particular thumbnail okay so as to uh, be able to go through that uh, course okay so and let me also add uh, if you have not joined batch one or batch two of our crash course then that is when you are supposed to buy this course if you are already in the batch one or batch two of our je advanced 2023 crash course please do not buy this course separately this is already included in batch one or batch two so a lot of students would be having a doubt of uh, the doubts group that will be there for this particular course is it going to cater to the entire syllabus doubts group or only newly added syllabus and obvious common sense is that this particular syllabus doubt group will be catering to only the doubts of this topic so as to not mix it up uh, and make it a mess in the doubts group so in case you want to add to the doubts group and you want a helping hand till the je advance exam for other topics um, either you can join the batch one or batch two of the original crash course or you can take the test series for which i've already made an announcement and it is running very successfully a lot of students who have joined test series have converted to batch one and batch two by paying the difference amount so that also is there so you can club the new syllabus with the test series and test series is very very um, uh, cheap at that uh, 999 rupees you will get somewhere around 30 odd examinations already we are into 
uh, fourth exam as I am announcing this particular video. You can search for this thumbnail to add so that in that test series doubts group, you will be able to ask all the doubts of different chapters, not just the doubts from the test series, but in general, if you are following some other teachers or some other questions, you want your doubts to get clarified. This is one way of doing that. Okay. And uh, the price for this newly added syllabus course would be actually it is two triple nine in general, but for the first 200 students who are joining, uh, we are going to keep it at 2499. Okay, so 2499, all the chapters that you could see, which are the added extra syllabus chapters, this will contain lectures, okay, complete comprehensive lectures taught at the required advanced level. You can read the description of this also in the app and also many uh, course features you could see. I don't want to read all of them again. It's people who have already taken either chapter-wise courses or the full crash course would know the features. Uh, one thing I would like to highlight for this newly added syllabus, instead of taking it as a crash course or a revision course, I've done the complete theory along with the problem-solving techniques and trying to take it up to the irido level of solving of the problem so that the JE advanced uh, examinations requirement is covered. It will be followed by the quality DPPs and also the doubt solving group, which will ensure no doubts would be left out. And again, I remind this is a part of the crash course batches one and two. So in case you are already part of batches one and two, please do not buy this course. OK, so for students who want this syllabus, they can either join this newly added syllabus alone or go to the batches one and two. OK, so these are the simple snapshots of what you will find inside the course content folder. A lot of DPPs you could see of individual topics. Each of these DPPs are further divided into parts A, B and C. You could say part A is the easiest part where the previous year questions from the JE mains are answered along with the solutions. And part B is exactly at the JE advanced level that we are thinking they are going to ask for. And part C will be the tougher ones and also NCRT corner points that people generally don't study or they miss out. Those are modified into beautiful questions so that everything is covered before you take up the final examinations. Okay, so, and these are the recorded lecture folder you will find for each and every topic, you have sufficient amount of time covered, right? So inside this folder, if you go and see, check diffraction and polarization, uh, you would find somewhere around three hours to four hour lecture. So even, e even EM waves, I remember is two and a half hours approximately, if I'm not wrong. Okay, so a lot of lecture coverage is there and a lot of questions within the lectures are done in order to ensure that you get proper practice along with the DPPs. Okay, so these are some of the slides of those lectures, which I have already shared in the past one month in the community posts of this YouTube channel and also our Telegram group. Okay, so I'm just presenting it for the new students who are not there. So this is one slide from the polarization and you can check for the uh, app access or also the Telegram group access in the uh, pinned comment. Remember, this Telegram is a public group. The doubts group that we'll have for this course is not the Telegram group. It is going to be separate group within the app for the people who purchase the course. That's obvious. Okay, that's making sure that you know it. Okay, so this is another slide. Uh, you could see that some of the Erodo questions at the JE advanced level are solved properly. Okay, so here's another Erodo question on EM waves from the lecture. You could see the lecture snapshot there that I have taken out. Okay, so and this is another question that I have already shared in the community on the phasers analysis of Fraunhofer single slit diffraction. Many more questions are there. I can't share everything here. So I hope you can understand the uh, level at which the topic is done and clarity at which the topic is done. That's more important. Here's a Carnot engine snapshot of many slides that you'll have in that lecture. And here's the uh, snapshot for the multiplicity or microstates and macrostate analysis required for the entropy understanding. And uh, here's a Stirling approximation that you might require in solving the entropy problems using a microstates. Okay, so this logarithmic formula, whenever you want to approximate the answer, there will be something that will be very nice for you. That is also explained. So all these things are already shared in the community post and also in the Telegram group in the past, these slides. So you can check that out in the pinned comment. Okay, and as you could see, as a part of our lectures of different topics, even NCRT corner points are explained properly within the lecture video. So this is a snapshot from the lecture video again, how the points to ponder part is being explained in damped and forced oscillations. Okay, so you could see some of the 
uh, basics of the syllabus are also covered. It's not that we are projecting the course as very tough and very different and very uh, complex. Okay, some of the coaching material, see, you'll use complex analysis and all that. We won't do that. We strictly restrict it to JE advanced level. So we'll start off with the basics. As you could see, some basic questions would be first covered in every topic. And then we slightly move on to the application part, as you could see on the slide, some of the non-linear oscillators, how you can solve the problem, all these. These are slides, okay? These are incomplete slides. I just took the snapshot from the uh, video lecture because I couldn't uh, have time to make an elaborate video, right? So the app and web access of these courses, app and web access of these courses, Courses are in the pinned comment below. So here's another slide where amplitude resonance condition and everything is explained in pretty much detail. Some of the points that are missed from NCRT are also explained so that uh, students preparing for JE at once are not inconvenienced. They will be given lots and lots of inputs in order to ensure that they stay ahead of the competition. Okay, so here's another question from uh, Erdo. Uh, that needs to be known to the students so that you reach the JE advanced level for these particular courses. Okay, so the coverage of JE advanced level questions that are actually required is done throughout the lecture and DPPs of this particular course. Okay, and also some of these uh, course syllabus requires uh, visual experiments. Okay, so experiment videos are added as a part of our syllabus, uh, which is unique and slightly different from what uh, people usually do. So experiment videos where my commentary will be there. I don't just play the video. It will be like I am commentating on the video. What is required from that video for our JA advanced understanding, it is also done. And some of the students who have seen other chapter videos from the course are going to give you a, a testimonial of that, how we cover our uh, videos in the lectures. Okay, so these are done for better understanding that even offline coaching uh, is going to fail to provide. Okay, so app and web access of these things are in the comment, uh, sorry, a pinned comment below. So here's another question on damped oscillations from the Irido that requires a trick to solve. Okay, so important tricks and all those things would be also part of our syllabus. So uh, just to sum it up for those students who are new here, um, there are certain plans that are going on within this uh, uh, physics surgery app for 2023 aspirants. Whatever you see on the screen right now is all for 2023 aspirants. So 2024 aspirants, please do wait for a couple of days more where I'll come up with your announcements. So all the 2023 aspirants who are listening, there is a test series that is running both chapter wise, as you could see with the price below. Okay. And there is a uh, test series with his GT and PT, that is part test and full test series that is also running. Then there is batch one and batch two of the complete crash course that you have. The batch one and batch two of the complete crash course that you have. So all these things are currently running. And I would request students who want to be still part of batch two or batch one. They are, you are completely welcome. Uh, some of the seats have been emptied from the test series so that they can move to batch two and some of the seats from the batch two have emptied because they entered batch one. So still uh, sufficient time is there for students to go through lectures. One of the strongest point of batch one and batch two lectures is the fact that all the problem models are covered in an elaborate manner and the right amount of practice is given in their DPPs and the doubts keep getting solved. Okay, so in the last one or two uh, uh, weeks, the doubts uh, have completely increased in that and I have been uh, busy and I'm trying my best to answer as many doubts as possible. So once this particular lecture is done, we'll be able to answer all the doubts in that. Okay, so please make sure if you are willing to join batch one or batch two, if you're already in the test series and you want to join, you can uh, uh, continuously, um, uh, you, you can continue by paying the uh, difference amount uh, from uh, any of these cases to the higher ones. So if you're batch two student and you want access for batch one, you can do that. What's the difference? And all these things, all the video has been done before. So you can check out the past videos of difference between batch two and batch one. The link of it is in the I button above. And uh, any other queries that you have from your preparation or anything regarding the courses, or if you are a 2023 or 2024 or 25 aspirant, please, first of all, you need to download the Android app, right? So this is an Android app. Uh, steps of the download are in the pinned comment below. You DM me in the app 
or call me for the queries, right? Uh, you can first DM me so that we can discuss what is your requirement so that I can help you to the maximum. Okay, so I also check the app launch video for the rules and regulations of usage of the app, how the doubts are solved, etc., etc. Okay, thanks for staying this long. I hope to see you in the courses. And if you are already in the courses, uh, I would like to help you as much as possible before you write your JE Advanced exam. Okay, so soon enough, I'll be coming up with the announcement for 2024 and also some of the physics videos that are pending on this particular channel. All the best with your studies and see you in the next awesome video.